Hi guys, this is Jubin Gruel here from Tekken5.com and today we're actually doing a unboxing of the Nokia Lumia 800. Uh, I'd like to thank Vodafone for giving this to us so we could review it. So uh, without further ado, let's open it up. As you can still see, I just picked it up today. Well, I mean, it just got delivered today, so I am unboxing it now for the first time. So, I'm pretty sure we've got the black version of it, so let's open it up. Well, there you go. So, that's the actual phone. Let's actually pick that up, put it off to the side for a quick sec, and see what's actually in the box. So, we got this cover here just to hold the phone. We have the info pack in here as well. Let's have a quick look at what comes in it. So you've got the quick guide for the Nokia Lumia 800. You've got the product and safety information as well. What do we have here? This looks like the gel case, yep. So you've also got a gel case that comes with the phone for uh, protection off the outside of it. And also that we don't need. You also have the power adapter, uh, which is, uh, you simply just stick the USB right into there. Obviously, Aussie version, so that's what it'll come with. You've also got the USB to mini USB cable right here for the Nokia Lumia. Right. And let's get that one out. And these are the headphones, of course. Uh, I've not actually tried these headphones before, so I don't know how good the quality will be. But uh, we'll give it a try definitely a bit later. So let's actually take a look at this device. Now, let me unwrap it out of the actual wrapping it comes in, just so we can get a closer look at it. So, how do we do this? Yep, so this one goes over here. It just should slide out. Yep, there we go. Alright, so here it is. This is the, the gorgeous brand new Nokia Lumia 800 from Nokia, obviously. It is a Windows phone device. Uh, and as I'm feeling in my hand right now, I just keep getting reminded just how great it actually feels in your hand. It feels solid, it feels well built, and it feels like, you know, even if you drop it, you'll survive the impact. It just feels really well built. And um, Nokia's always been really famous for that, so it's great to see they brought that in here as well. So just taking a quick look at the actual device right now. So obviously we have the screen here. Uh, as you can see, apart from the, uh, it, if you draw comparisons to it, the closest phone would be the Nokia N9, which is similar. Except in this, you don't have a front-facing camera up top, and you have the three designated Windows buttons. The back, the Windows, and the search button, obviously. So let's have a look at the bottom. If you can have a, let's have a quick focus into that. So there you go. In the bo at the bottom, you've actually got the speaker grills which is where you'll get the sound from. Over to the side you've got the designated camera button over here. Let me focus again on that. Yeah. So you've got the designated camera buttons over here. You've also got the power button and the volume rocker on this side. So as you'll see on this side completely clean absolutely nothing there. On the top you've obviously got the slot where you put in your uh, SD card and your uh, SIM card as well. Sorry, not your SD card, your SIM card. And let's have a push. So to open it up, you just simply tap that one. That opens up over there. You just take number two, slide it out, and that comes out. So that's where you put your SIM card in here. Put that down for a second. So your SIM card goes on the right hand side over there. Next to it, you've obviously got the mini USB port right there and the headphone jack right up here as well so let me put that back in now uh, obviously there are a few concerns with this latch over here it does look like if you hit it too hard to the left uh, it obviously doesn't have the well let's just put it this way it, it could break so I do recommend that if you're gonna get this do be careful with this latch over here obviously close it up right away as soon as you use it anyway onto the back here uh, what we've got is obviously the Nokia branding right there let me bring it a bit closer there you go 
You've also got an 8 megapixel Carl Zeiss flash lens uh, with dual flash up here it seems like and it's on the top here for some great pictures so with Carl Zeiss which is Nokia's famous for as well as the dual flash and the 8 megapixel camera you're looking at a pretty good camera phone over here so let's just boot this up quickly and uh, we'll just finish the video off nice little vibration when you push the power button uh, like I said it is from Vodafone so you are going to get the Vodafone launch screen Nokia screen over there basically we're just testing to see how uh, quick the startup is and there you go and that's back into getting it started so we'll get it started and we'll give you a quick demo obviously uh, I, I know that a lot of you who are regular watchers to Tekken 5 on YouTube know that we uh, use Windows phones quite regularly but we've never tested this one out so we'll have a look at a couple other sort of apps they have sort of Nokia Drive, Nokia Maps and uh, as well as Nokia Music. So join us again next time. I'm Juven Grewal and thanks for watching. Do remember to visit Tekken5.com as well for other information and give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thanks.